violence began and Manipur situation continues uh, to be fluid. In the last 48 hours or so, uh, Monday and Tuesday, there have been some uh, incidents, some escalation of violence. It was specially highlighted after one uh, BSF personnel lost his life, two Assam Rifles personnel were severely injured and uh, one ambulance carrying an injured child was burned down. So what really is happening on the ground? On the ground, especially in junction areas between Kuki and Maiti dominated, which means between the Imphal Valley and the hills there have been uh, reported incidents of firing. Uh, this is specifically in the Sugnu Serao area where violence has been reported on Monday and Tuesday. There have been additional deployment of troops here. Uh, the troops essentially are carrying out area domination exercise. This area domination exercise is meant to convey to those uh, who are militants, who are, who are supporting militants, uh, that the security grid has uh, taken charge of this area. Uh, additional troops have also been sent by the border security force. We're told uh, that about uh, 10 companies have been been uh, airlifted, uh, they have been freshly deployed. Officers on the ground are telling CNN News 18 uh, that the deployment is happening as and when a need is uh, felt. Uh, what essentially is uh, happening on the ground is that uh, the cookie militant groups, that's the suspicion that the cookie militant groups are now in the mix. There are Methi groups as well who have taken up arms in their own hand and uh, there are charges being made against the security forces also. Uh, so this area domination, additional deployment of troops is meant to seize uh, control of uh, the situation. Uh, the Assam rifle, BSF and local police came under fire both on Monday and uh, Tuesday, we are, we are told. Uh, as of today, the situation is, uh, you know, there is no fresh incident of uh, violence that has been reported in the last uh, couple of hours or so. Uh, but there are protests being carried out by Manipuri women's group who are a, who are a strong, uh, you know, civil society organization. They are carrying out their own protest uh, there in Imphal. Here in Delhi also, uh, Kuki groups reached the residence of Union Home Minister Amit Shah. A lot of uh, Manipuris have fled their home state and, and come to Delhi, uh, staying either with family or finding, uh, you know, support in their village community groups. So some of those cookie groups reached the residence of Home Minister Amit Shah carrying out protests. Of course, they were evacuated from there by the police. But that tells you uh, that uh, people of Manipur are still looking at centre to resolve the current crisis. Uh, more troops, they're not ruling out more boots on the ground if the situation demands so. But there are several other factors, uh, you know, external factors also that are being taken into account vis-a-vis -vis the border situation, um, the impact on our, on our, on our uh, you know, uh, relationship with other countries. Myanmar is a factor here. So all all of that is also being kept into account, uh, but the center is definitely hoping uh, that civil society groups uh, will allow peace to prevail finally and appeals in that regard are also being sent out by the leadership here. Uh, but right now it is a security first approach. More booths, area domination, seizing arms and ammunition and making it difficult for the militant groups uh, to continue uh, to carry out violence and arson. That's the focus of the security forces, but it's a big challenge that they're facing at the moment.